Hey, what's up you guys? Mike Donovanic here with Shape Magazine. Today I'm gonna to show you the five best exercises for your glutes if you have bad knees. So, let's just get right in this. Oh my God, Becky. So the first move is gonna be a deadlift. So your feet are gonna be hip to shoulder width apart, soft bend in the knees, okay? So not a deep bend, just soft bend in the knees, weight starting right at the front of your hips. You're gonna send your hips and butt as far back as you can and just let those weights or that barbell just guide down your shins, keeping that flat back and then driving up, strong. Bring it down, controlled, send the hips back. Notice how little I'm bending in the knees and then driving it up. Abs tight, back straight, soft bend in the knees, hips going back as far as they possibly can. Next move, you're not gonna need any equipment, but that doesn't mean it's not gonna set those glutes on fire. So from right here, bring those feet in together, hands come at your chest or your stomach, wherever you need to put your hands to feel more stable. From right here, you're gonna balance and stabilize on your right leg. Your left leg is gonna go straight out, back to center, diagonally back, back to center, and then straight back, back to center. Every single time you kick it out, really focus on squeezing that glute. So squeeze as tight as you can, bring it back, straight back, bring it back. Hitting every muscle in your glute right here, from all different angles, one laterally, one diagonally back, and one posteriorly just straight back. So side, diagonal, back. The next exercise is gonna be the cousin of the Russian deadlift. It's gonna be a split stance deadlift. So from right here, take a split stance. You don't want those feet to be too long, yeah? You want them to be maybe, I don't know, a foot apart from each other. From right here, you're gonna keep a soft bend in both those legs, focusing again on sending the hips back. You're gonna guide those weights, that barbell, whatever you have, straight down that front leg, drive up, squeeze the glutes. Bring it down, keeping that back flat, keeping those hips square, drive it up. So your working leg is gonna be that front leg. Again, focusing on sending your hips back as far as you can, pulling those abs in tight so that back stays flat. Bring it down with control and then driving up with power. Next move is gonna be a glute bridge. I'm gonna show you two different options. All right, so let's lie it down. From right here, you wanna lie that back flat Bring your feet back so the heels are kind of underneath the knees. Hands are rested loosely on the ground. From right here, you're gonna drive the hips up, squeezing your butt cheeks as tight as you can, at the very top, bring it down, and right before your butt touches, drive right back up. Now, if you wanna take things up a notch, we're gonna do them single leg. So reposition your feet a little bit, bring them a little closer in. Drive that back leg up. That front leg stays exactly where it was. You're gonna drive straight up. Again, squeezing the glute of that front leg. Bring it down controlled right before that booty touches. Drive right back up, down controlled. Right back up, down controlled. Last move, we're staying on the ground. We're gonna bring it down onto all fours just like this, abs are gonna be pulled in tight, that back is gonna stay flat, we're gonna go into a hydrant, so that's the first part of the move, bring it back, and now go straight up, heels to the sky, bring it back. So hydrant, right out to the side, back, straight up to the sky, back. Now, the entire time, you wanna try and keep a 90 degree bend in that knee. You don't want that 90 degrees to falter. So you don't want that heel to come close to your butt so it looks like this. All right, keep that 90 degrees, bring it up, and then straight back. Whew. 
Uh, surprise! Bonus moves. These bonus moves are a little more advanced, so if you have any knee issues, just be careful when you do them. But they are amazing, 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 amazing booty builders. So I'm going to show you them anyways, that way you have them in your workout arsenal and you can use them however you want. But first move is a kettlebell swing. So don't think of it as a squat, it's more from the hips, just like that deadlift, okay? So you're going to start with that kettlebell probably about a foot in front of you. You're going to hinge at the hips, so just like that deadlift, setting the butt as far back as you can, grabbing onto that kettlebell, tilting it back, you're going to swing that kettlebell straight back behind you, and then drive up. So notice how little my knees are bending. It's really all coming through the hips, just like that deadlift. Squeezing the quads and the butt at the top of the movement. The second bonus move is a single leg RDL, Russian deadlift. So from right here, front leg is your stable leg, back hand is going to be holding onto the weight, and that back leg is going to be kicking straight back. So from right here, start with that toe on the ground of the back leg. Your front hand, you can either bring it behind your back, to your hip, to the side, doesn't matter. I'm going to bring it behind my back, but from right here, you're gonna go straight down, again, hinging at the hips, keeping a nice long body, head and neck is neutral. As you come up, drive up, bring that foot back down. Bring it back, bring it up. So your goal right here is to get down as low as you can while keeping that back straight, keeping that back leg engaged as well. Pulling those abs in and being stable the entire time. So those are your five booty building moves if you have bad knees plus two additional bonus moves. Make sure you do those moves, add them to your program and have fun building a bigger booty. If you like this workout and you'd like to see more, be sure you head over to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Mike D Fitness.